going on. We the Ravens. Yeah, y'all watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. Real fans, real talk well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern time For the white and black fans Asia to Manhattan I get all my facts from my bro Mark the Stats Man If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand Sports, gossip, all the hot topics Real fans, real talk.com Got it, they got the hottest bloggers Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log on to the site and you can hear it from them first I'm talking about the latest, I'm talking about the greatest Go check out the archives, even tell a neighbor, tell a boss from spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda. Certified coach, son, you know what I'm about, son. Real fans, real talk.com. I'm out, but real fans, real talk, real fans, real talk, real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk, real fans. Real talk, yeah, yeah. real fans, real talk.com. Real fans, real talk.com. What's going on? It's Trip Young. We on location right now, IS275 at the Thelma Hamilton campus. And just so y'all know, she was an activist. So I had to make that clear in the intro. But we at the One Breath Academy right now. Y'all seen we had Coach Augustus on the show a couple of weeks ago. We told y'all we was going to be in the building. You know, Real Fans, Real Talk always shows up when we got people in our community doing something that's positive and it's tied into the sports world. We got the youth in there playing basketball, Coach showing them some new drills. Don't break the link because he, he got a lot of knowledge for these young ballers right now. There's a lot of coaches in there working with these kids. So we're just going to take y'all inside for a little while so y'all can see exactly what Coach has got going on here. And like I said, we will be back in the studio next week and you guys can watch all of the footage. How do y'all know about Bowling Town? Oh, that's great. All right, so that's good. So everything that we do here, now y'all looking at it, y'all raising your hand like this here. But it's very important that over time, partner with us. They're not sponsoring us. They're partners with us. Partners mean what? Yeah, we're, yeah, yeah we in business together. And that's important to me, because I don't want no sponsorships. Because sponsorships come and go. Uh, Rick? Rick. Rick, Rick, Rick. Rick. Right? Sponsorship come and go, right? <laughs> See what I'm saying? So it's great to get it. You could get the money if they do or whatever, but we got to create our own. So when you create your own, you always have. You don't have to worry about somebody taking away from you. So all of this stuff here, I got it over time here. I got my partners from Hong Kong, came all the way here. We're getting ready to take some of you guys and we moved to China. One of four partners, three other partners that are here from Hong Kong. I met these guys because I introduced one breath to them and they said to me, we need this in China. We need one breath in China. We need one breath in Hong Kong, in a big city just like New York City. So I'm going back and forth on um, Skype, WhatsApp. I'm going back and forth talking to them. Imagine if I'm, I'm 62 years old. Imagine if I say, I don't want to mess with that. WhatsApp stuff. I don't want to mess with that Skype stuff. I don't want to mess with that Facebook stuff. Imagine if I was like, would I have ever met these guys? No. No. No, not at all. No. And this is what I try to tell old school people. You want to learn something? Hang out with the young people. Quit trying to talk bad about them. Hang out with them. As tight as this thing is, I know they're tight. <laughs> <laughs> they tight, son. Pause on that. I told my dude, I told my dude, listen, listen, listen to me, and I want, old school, I want y'all to get this here. I met a guy who had a deal for me, I was sitting in a, in a coffee shop, and I had my, um, my 6X uh, iPhone, and I'm sitting there with it, and I put it down on the coffee shop, he was in there doing business. But he's a horrible dude, and he's like, yo, I'm sitting there, I had all my LeBrons and my other, and I'm chilling there, because I'm retired, that's what I do, I sit and I listen to young people conversations to see if I can help them. And I hear him talking, and he looked over and he said, yo, he said, yo, man, that's a sick, oh, you, that's when it first came out, because any time it's first, I'm first to get it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know, I'm saying, yo, I'm first to get it. So here it is, it's sitting there, and he said, yo, can I, can I check that out? He said, yeah. Then I said, oh, excuse me, I gotta go to the bathroom. I ran in the bathroom. 
came back, and when they do get them talking, and we're trusting you, they talk the business, they were like this, talking business, tax, everything. And they were still trying to figure out something about a magazine, Carter Mag. They needed Jay-Z, they couldn't get Jay-Z to be on the front because he was charging too much money. So they needed to get an image of Jay-Z on the front of their thing. But they had ran out of money. After they showed me what they were doing, I, I tested them, right? Then I test them? Yeah. What did I do? I had to go to the bathroom. Yeah, Where's right. my, my, my success? In their hand. That's right. In their hand. I would just have to lose them. I had to show them some paper. I know I got a tracker too, so where are we going? I got all the skills on there. I know I had to make it go, but the point is this. I tested them. When these guys used to hang at my house when I was young, I used to leave ten dollars. I would have thirty guys in my bachelor crib, right? Yeah. One room, bachelor thirty, and all and I would go away. My ten dollars would be right there. I wanted the same ten dollars in case somebody took a loan. <laughs> Come back, so I would put it a head 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 up. So if I came back, it was on the other side. I knew somebody touched me. And if I found that out, everybody ran. So what am I telling you? I'm telling you this, is that guys, understand this. I play head games because it's a, this is what it's all about. What's going on? It's Trip Young, Real Fans, Real Talk. We are back, and I'm here with Jack. This is the Hong Kong Connection. I told you I was going to find the plug. This is the plug. He's going to help bring One Breath Academy over to Hong Kong. What's going on? Welcome to Real Fans, Real Talk. What's up, guys? Hey, thanks for having me. So, yep, we're going to bring this to Asia coming soon, so I'm really excited about this opportunity. All right, and how did you get involved with One Breath? So it's interesting because uh, YS or Sportswear company uh, work, has been working with te uh, Coach Gus's for uh, over a year now. So we've been we've been planning ahead what to do and things like that. So we're planning to uh, get this over to Asia within a uh, half a year or so, and then we're gonna bring kids from Asia over to New York for uh, the One Breath Academy. So we're really excited. All right, now I know you see a lot of kids um, playing basketball over the years, but I'm gonna take it to the professional level right now. Who are you taking this year in the NBA? In the NBA, my guy. I got. I got to go to the Raptors. I've I've been from Toronto ever since I was six years old. So, Kyle Lowry, that's my guy. So it doesn't bother you that they got beat down by the Cavs last year? Nah, no problem, man. They got they got LeBron. What what, what can we do? But Kyle Lowry still no no doubt. Well, y'all got Drake, so I don't know if that helps or if that hurts y'all. But what's your take on Drake always being on the sidelines? Yeah, man. Yo, king, of, king of the entertainment business right now, man. He's on top. So Toronto, Toronto's on the rise. That's all I'm seeing. All right, you heard it right now from the plug. Jack, this is the Hong Kong Connection. Real fans, real talk. We up out of here. This man here saw what we had to see. Him and his partners, you'll see him walking around yeah. here. Yeah. Like, all the guys that look Asian. And, um, <laughs> they have a passion for basketball in China. They won with you guys so easily, they won it. And he played ball, and he like, coach, I'm here so my guys can learn how to play the game right in China. Because he said they got two, 200 million guys that could swear they could play basketball. Oh. Go ahead. All right, so what's up, guys? So I'm going to start the speech off like I did this morning. I do speak English. So you guys don't have to worry about any of, that, any of the Chinese stuff. So uh, a little bit of all my background, I'm from Canada, Toronto. So similar to Hong Kong for some of you guys. Um, so I used to uh, love basketball. I'm sure at Coach said I played a little bit uh, in Toronto back in the day. And then very typical Asian thing. I, I studied finance and worked in the banking industry. One of those investment techs brought me to Hong Kong. And I started playing uh, some semi-pro ball up there. Not what you guys think it is. It's very, it's not that high competition, but I see some uh, growth in that sense. Where there's a lot of foreigners going into Asia nowadays to get a chance to play out there. So a year ago, I got a chance to uh, meet coaches program. I realized there's a pretty big potential of bringing guys over from the states to Asia to play professionally or semi-professional. So that's one of the reasons why I'm here to see the talent you guys got out here. As well, we're going to bring guys from Asia next summer to play against you guys or just join a camp like you guys. So, really excited about this. We're kickstarting everything. We're going to bring Coach out to Asia in uh, February. Yes, so uh, that'd be exciting. And then we're going to kickstart everything. It's going to be huge, hopefully. So, I'm very excited. So, thank you guys for uh, coming. One breath. One breath. One breath.
By the way, I'm going to Asia, but I'm not going by myself. I got a couple of my guys, you know, that are going with me, that you know, that, that play for me and play with me, that can go out there and do it. So we're taking a whole team out there. I got my NBA guys, John Sally, Rolando Black, we already met them. They getting ready to do some stuff with us. And then we moving into all the other guys. Then as they come here, my goal is to have you guys go here. We need guys to get there so you can understand what is going on in another country and how they. What's going on, Trip them. Young? We back. One Breath Academy, IS275. I'm out here with the man, the myth, the legend, Coach Ted Gustus. Now, y'all saw him on the program two weeks ago. We told y'all we was going to be in the building to support. Coach, what's going on? Hey, man, what's happening, man? We back again, man. I enjoyed your show, man. I really did, man. We definitely appreciated having you, especially the fact that you let the world know who was the best player in the, in the whole universe, King James. I like how you broke it, that whole science down about, you know, him, him, him being uh, the system and MJ playing in the system. Big difference, we talked about that before, that's my, my whole concept. LeBron is the system, MJ played for the system, Curry plays for the system, but he is the system, yes. All right, now, do we have any future LeBron James in the building today? Let me just tell you, we have future LeBron James, but we never know until, one thing about LeBron, LeBron was special all the time, even in high school. Remember, he came from high school. That's a very, very special player. But I've seen players develop their games over time, and before you know it, they 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 become pros. And other guys, they left behind. So it can happen. Yes. So what's what's the the main goal going into today's event? Teach our young people that we all come from one breath. I don't care where you're from, what uniform you wear, mm -hmm. the color of your skin, the color of the uniform you wear, if you crip or blood, whatever you are, you come from one breath. And we all got to have the ability to take our one breath to breathe life into each other. It's very important. And I think they got that. Also, we wanted to let them know that we, are one, we got one goal in mind. One goal is my partner from out in um, Hong Kong. So we got one breath, one goal. And this is one breath across the world. Look at all, what, 15 hours away from here. We in Hong Kong. And we got our team out there doing their thing. So it's, it's going to be a, it's a great movement. It is a movement. And it's, all, it's more than about just basketball. And tell us about the trip that you guys are taking over to Hong Kong. February, we're taking a trip. I'm taking a crew of guys from here that play ball, and we're going over there. We're going to teach the game. We're teaching coaches. And we also teach them the philosophy in one breath. You know my book? the power in one breath, that's what we're taking over there. So now we're going to be merging them. By August, we're bringing a whole bunch of them over here, and they're going to learn. And they, I'm taking my kids, our kids, over there, because our kids need to know how people appreciate them in another part of the world. When they come back, they're going to feel good about themselves. Now, how do you select which kids that you take over to Hong Kong? This is a, is a all thing. We got a slam dunk thing that we're getting ready to do called like the dunk off type situation. Okay. That's going to be huge, man. So we're going to get guys that could dunk and they don't even have to play. They know they got dunks and they're good. Then we got players that we're going to select out of the schools. I'm coming up with the whole strategy. I don't want it just to be on basketball. Mm -hmm. I want them to be able to experience this from what everything they do. Yeah. Okay. Now, I was going to sign up for the dunk contest, but the way my knee is set up right now with these injuries, I used to do 360s and through the leg, but I'm retired now, so I'm going to leave it up to these young kids out here today. But, uh, Coach, we definitely appreciate you always, and we love what you're doing out here with these kids. So just one more time for the folks at home, let them know how they can get in contact with you and One Breath. And I just want you to know, I was looking at ESPN this morning, and they told me about your leg. And, and, I said, and I said to him, I wanted you to be in the dunk, exactly. and here I go, Stephen A. Smith saying he can't be in the dunk. Exactly. I understand he's a, he's a, that. He, a, he's a, Stephen, they know, but Stephen you know, told the truth, he did, though. He did, he did you just know. verified that he it's did, the truth. Yeah. Stephen is, my, Stephen is one of my players, by the yeah. way. I didn't want so to cut out the bag. Don't call him a player hater. I didn't call him right. a player hater. Yeah, he told the truth. You he did, he did, he did. He knew about it, he knew about it. By the way, Coach Gustus, that's where you could get me on my Twitter line, you can get me on my Facebook, you can get me on my Instagram. You can get me on my overtime. All right? Peace. One breath. All right. We out of here. Hey, go, hey, go. Hey, go.
up. They play patty cake. They play patty cake. Leon <laughs> He's good for one. this trip young we about to get up out of here but i had to get one of the youth one of the players out there even though i seen him on the mic first so we might have to bring him into the studio to get him to guest host the episode with us because he did his thing on the mic tim john what's going on no nah, man it's all good what position you play uh, shooting guard shooting guard okay all right now i seen you know you had the skills on the mic is that like you want to try to do the the ebc or the rucker announcing yeah why not I see, I, see, I see where you're going with this now. As a shooting guard, who do you model your game after? Uh, mainly, I just try to model it either after Andrew Wiggins or... Uh, I know I'm a shooting guard, like, like Kyrie Irving or Kevin Durant. You got to have a little handle to, to, to model after Kyrie, so I don't know. How's your handle? Yeah, so-so. So. Right. We, right, we, we, we're going to work on it. We're going to get him back with, with Coach. He's going to work on the handle. How's the jump shot, though? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's consistent, I'll tell you that much. I'm talking right. hot. It's kind of hard to stop it. All right, that's the, now, will your teammates say the same thing? Yeah, the ones who know me, they will. At the same time, they know, like, they're just clans, but those are my mans and stuff, so always look out for them. All right, cool, cool, cool. Now, we're going to take it to the professional level. Who got it right now in the NBA? Uh, right now in the NBA, I honestly say well, Kevin Durant. I look up to him as a father figure. All right, now he lost. He just lost his spot on Real Fans Real Talk as a guest host with that answer right there. <laughs> Since he missed that, he didn't say my man LeBron James, so he just lost his spot. But um, all right, but but Kevin Durant, what do you think about his decision in going to the Warriors after being beat by the Warriors? I, I think like that's a sellout move because you just went to a team that smoked you. I can't remember. I don't remember the score, but you went to a team that smoked you in the series just to. Be, play with them like that it don't make no sense you just basically went to a you just left a championship contending team to go to the Warriors like that's a sellout move to me so now are you still taking Kevin Durant as the guy in the NBA after you just said <laughs> nah. nah so who are we going with LeBron or Steph Curry LeBron LeBron, right, see, he just got his spot back on the couch. Whenever he's ready, he can come down to the studio. Real fans, real talk. He can be on the air as a guest host. You, you redeemed yourself. I'm proud of you. But um, what 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 do you get most from from Coach Gustus? Coach Gustus like leadership, learning how to be a leader, learning how to like run a team offensively, defensively, on and off court. Never like just being one sided. Just always all around. Understanding how to be a playmaker, a student athlete, and all of that. And how, how are you implementing the skills that Coach Gustus is teaching you on the court into your everyday life? Like, you just like, I'm just going to go practice what I learned from today, like, so I could better myself as a player and as a student athlete, maybe turn up some heads, do something good this year in high school. All right, so are we, are we looking forward to, to college, not only playing ball, but getting that degree? Yeah, of course. What school, what school are you looking at? Like seeing Hall mainly. Oh, okay. All right, man. Listen, we got to get up out of here. It's Trip Young, Real Fans, Real Talk. I'm out here with Tim John. I told you he got his spot back on the couch. He said the right things today. He let the world know that, that LeBron is still number one in the NBA. So whenever you're ready to come on the show, you're more than welcome. All right. All right. I don't know what's going on, man. You talk about your one breath, breathing life and You see a teammate dying, and you know you can breathe life into that person by talking to him straight up. It's easy to be negative. It's easy to hate. 
Your words have power. Everybody say, my words. My words. Has power. Has power. My words. My words. Create. Create. My world. My world. So what I normally do at this time, I want to show you the power that you have. First thing I want you to do to show you why we cannot lose one of you. We cannot lose not one of you. Because every time we lose one of you, we lose anything in our community. We lose, if we would have lost uh, Rudy, we would have lost all that he had done for everybody to breathe life into him. If we would have lost Rick, we would have lost all of that. Imagine if we would have lost Jason. Imagine if Foss would have went the wrong way, like his dad went, got killed, and he told y'all about his stepfather getting killed. We cannot afford to lose you. Your energy is needed. So here's a drill I do with all of my team. What I want you to do is I want you to take each other's hand. Take each other's hand. Oh, is that one more? And you know, as always, when I say to people to take each other's hand, you know, some of y'all have difficulty with that. You have to still you let people sweat all over you. When you're in a hole trying to get position, they got their sweat all over you. I tell you, take the hand. It's like, we need to take each other hand. We need to grab that energy. So here's what I want to do. I want to start right here. And what I want you to do, I want you to hold this. Hold this. Everybody got their hands attached. It is said that by the time you get, by the time you get 30 years old, you would never have to you like plug in yourself on getting in. Where is your energy going to come from? You. Everything that you need is inside you. So when one of you drop out, we all lose. Trust me. When I go to those funerals, I cry. Yes, I cry. But do you know what I do? They'll tell you. I wipe my eyes off, and I'm back in the grind. I cry. I've seen some of my guys get shot. I had to go and deliver the, the, the talk and everything, and I cried. But then I wiped that off, I'm like, yo, let's get busy. We gotta get busy. So what happens is this is your energy. Grab that. That's your energy. And if anyone you drop out, you lose that energy without your hand. Put it back together. Keep your hand there. Keep your hand there. <laughs> Keep your hand there. <laughs> Put it back. This is how important you are. Drop your hand. Put it back. Somebody don't have it. Put it back. And you know what? You're getting caught. Good job. You want to see if it works with your hand. Drop your hand, son. Drop your hand, Dago. It works. All right. That's so, crazy, coach. I haven't seen that one before. Now, let me just say this to you. <laughs> okay, so what I'm saying to you is this, look, pay attention here. Each and every one of us carry our energy. Everybody repeat this, we communicate, communicate. through words, through words. Justice, justice, and spirit. And spirit. So when I look at you and I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you, I'm looking at you because I'm looking at your spirit, I'm looking at your words, I'm looking at your gesture. They all got to line up together. Here you go. You want to follow. What does this say to you? See? There you go. I said one word. Here you go. What is that? Insecure. There you go. Insecure. So people are looking at you and they're communicating. And I, I want to tell you, fellas, women pick this up very quickly. You like, oh, I love you. Yeah, I love you. Do you really? Because she's looking at your what? Gestures. She feeling your spirit. So your words don't line up with your gestures or your spirit. And as we 
see my team break up because your guys as leaders got to learn how to talk to the people and communicate to the people that you communicate with. How many of y'all feeling that on If you're feeling it, say one breath. One breath. Yes. We need your energy, son. You have to understand how important you are. You have to understand that. And if you drop out, we lose all of this. We weaken. We weaken. We have no, nothing else. Do you know how important you are? You have to believe that, son. You have to believe it. This is us, man. This is our community. This is what we do. And I always tell you, one breath means what? You got one breath. I don't care what uniform you're wearing. You have the ability to take your one breath and breathe life into anything that you want. Look at it and breathe life into it. Oh, that's, that, that, ain't, that ain't right. That ain't nothing. Yes, you have the ability to breathe life into it. So I just wanted to take the time just to show y'all. And sometimes you need to see it before you see it. So I want you to repeat that. If you don't see it, if you don't see it, before you see it, before you see it, you will never see it. You will never see it. So some of y'all are practicing. Oh, some of y'all are practicing real fast. I love it. Yeah, I love it. There you have it. I had to make you see it before you see it. Here, here, when you practice, how many of y'all think y'all need a basketball to practice? if you pass practice, practice in basketball. Most of y'all do. But you know what? That we don't need no ball, man. You sit here, here, ooh, bang, jumper, here, ball through. You saw the that? You missed it. You didn't see it. I saw it. See, you, he seen it. You feel it, you feel it. Here, 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 Coach got it, got I saw it before. <laughs> I'm showing off. I got it like that. Hey, you know what? If you don't use it, you lose it. When you get my age, you got to use it. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got to see the basket. So, you could be in the park without a ball and just working your stuff. Got you, son. Got you. Hey, 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 court. Boom, say, move the ball. Bam. Visualization. Visualize it. See it before it happens. So let's clap it up, Rudy. Let's get the clap in. One clap, one clap, one clap, one clap, two clap, two clap, two clap. One breath. One breath. One breath. What it is? Okay, fellas, it was great having you guys here today. One breath, one two, one two three. One breath. Good work. All right, Real fans, real talk dot com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern Tom for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats Man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the CAT scan. And if your brain checks out, then you deserve a backhand. Sports, gossip, all the hot topics. Real fans, real talk.com. Got it. They got the hottest bloggers. Did Jeremy Lynn hurt? We'll log onto the site and you can hear it from them first. I'm talking about the latest. I'm talking about the greatest. Go check out the archives. Even tell a neighbor. Tell a boss. From spring to winter, tuning in should be the only thing on your agenda.